Here's another headline. Self-storage facilities are the new mattress stores. They're everywhere. Here's another headline. A building boom taking place for self-storage facilities. Well, Kyle Bainter is the co-founder of Callbox Storage. It provides on-demand technology to the self-storage business. It allows customers to have their boxes and furnitures picked up and brought back through a mobile app. Kyle apparently got into this business just at the right time. He formed his company two years ago. He's on the Lippman Law Newsmaker line. Kyle, good morning. Thanks for joining me. Hey, Jeff. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So what do you think, Kyle? I mean, you are involved in this business. You've been involved now in a couple of, uh, a couple of years. What's behind the boom in storage facilities these past couple of years? Right. Like, like you said, it's been growing like crazy. There's now close to about 3 billion square feet of storage space across the, the country. To put that in perspective, if you filled up Manhattan times <laughs> three with just storage facilities, that's right. what you're looking at. And so it's grown like crazy, and a lot of that's um, due to kind of what we're seeing uh, indirectly, right? You have higher real estate prices, real estate's going up. Millennials are generally wanting to live more urban. Then you have the baby boomers, ages 55 to 72 to 73, um, represent about 25% of the American population. So the downsizing that's happening now and over the next 20 years is is very substantial, um, one that the country's never seen before. And so that, of course, drives the need for, for storage and um, due to those factors. Well, and Kyle, you were dividing up the need for storage by age group, and here's what you made me think of. I, I have a, a couple of parents now that when I go visit them, they're doing that thing where they're like, look, I'm just going to give this to you now. Here, take this the, take this clown cookie jar, you know? So they're doing that thing. And we all go through that phase in our lives where our parents are starting to do that with us. So is part of this, like, older parents are storing a bunch of stuff and just saying, hey, Bobby, all of this will be yours one day? Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's funny how people try to sneak it on you, right? <laughs> like that, you know, it's a pretty clever way of doing things. But, yeah, you know, there's certainly quite a bit of that of, of – trading um, items or passing them down in family and everything. Um, but, but again, you're seeing a lot with uh, kind of real estate prices going up. Yeah. So the amount of space that the family of four used to be able to afford 20 years ago is quite a bit different now. And so um, people have to be a little bit smarter with how they live. Um, also, you know, the boomers kind of generally, for the most part, live more suburban, um, bigger homes where space was plentiful. And so space a lot of times equals stuff. And so... Um, definitely seeing those factors come into play with storage. So, it, it, for example, if, if somebody moves downtown, Kyle, and, and now they're in a smaller space than they were, what you're saying is a lot of folks are not willing to get rid of the stuff. They think that they might use it again, so they call a storage facility. That's right. There's a little bit of both. There's a little bit of that, but there's also, you know, if you live more urban, there's there's less closet space for the holiday decorations. Gotcha. Here, right? Yeah. So when you want to go camping, you don't want to go buy 20 items, right? You want to kind of use what you have each time. So you store that and then pull it out when you need it. And so, But there's certainly, you know, a hoarder impact sometimes. <laughs> cherish their things. A lot of times, you know, the, the things that people accumulate, they work really hard for, right? So right. That, that psychological detachment from those items is, is easy for some and difficult for others. Kyle, I'm sure you've gotten this question before, but was there any impact from all those television shows like Storage Wars? Because, look, I watched them, and I was always like, oh, man, he's going to open that box up. Boy, this is, might be something, you know. Did, did that publicity help at all, do you think? <laughs> you know, it, any publicity uh, somewhat <laughs> helps, right? Right. So, uh, you know, that, that definitely brought a light to the storage out there, and, and you know, and so I, I think it probably does um, help a little bit. You know, it's interesting. It, about, it took about 25 years to build the first billion square feet of storage space and just eight years to build the next billion. Wow. So I think it's definitely something where American households across the country are, are seeing that um, they might be able to use storage to kind of help them, um, you know, be smarter with their space. Yeah. Home. So, so Kyle, obviously, with all this building, the business that you're in is now becoming a, a competitive business. So, what are storage companies like yours doing to get a competitive advantage when people start contemplating storage? Right. So, you know, what we have done is we've created an, an easier platform here. And I'm about to go under a bridge, so if I cut out for a second. Okay. Um, yeah, so 
we have created an easier platform for folks to, to provide kind of some service to the industry. And so um, storage has never been easy, right? It takes right. six to eight hours to get your things in storage. You've got to run a truck, spend your day loading it, you know, trying to convince friends and family to help you on their weekend. Right. It, 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 it's got to be one of, one of life's worst chores. And so what we did is we said, isn't there a better way to do that? Right. And so we go to the customer's home. We pick everything up. We put a barcode on each item going to storage. Hmm. Then we actually take it to our storage port facility for the customer. And then the customer gets an online dashboard. So they can see everything they have in storage. They want their camping gear back, their holiday decorations. So simply click on those items and we bring it back to them. So they, they never have to step foot in a storage facility again. <laughs> It's just amazing, Kyle, when I hear these stories of how technology is making our life easier. The company is called Callbox Storage. The gentleman's name is Kyle uh, Bainter. Kyle, congratulations to you on the success of your business, and thanks very much uh, for your commentary today. Thanks, Jeff. Great talking to you. We're coming up on 1045. Uh, what Kyle was saying, I was surprised when I read the article, and it's why I, I shot an email to Kyle about coming onto the show, because I thought, why would the storage business be booming during an economic boom and he started talking about lifestyle things and uh, I thought of the folks that are moving downtown downtown Des Moines right now that are buying property and maybe the property's not ready yet uh, as they're ready to move in and they're buying storage they're storing the stuff and then when their new property that's being built in downtown Des Moines is ready here comes the stuff. So there are different lifestyle things that are going on that Kyle was describing there that's causing a gigantic boom in the storage industry. And it was just one of those aspects of the economy and our lifestyle that I just hadn't thought about.